It's a highly entertaining to watch. He's playing Mark Duran of Spain. Looking forward to this one. Tony and Colin, over to you. That's great, Laura. So they've just started, and Mark Duran won up, one all now against Gavin Rungo. So it's two serves each, up to 15 points, and you need to win two games to win the match. So now Mark Duran on the second of his two serves. And the blue, and a very, very talented Spanish player. There's a good, uh, a good history and culture of uh, good sandpaper table tennis in Spain. And uh, we'll, sort, we'll shortly be seeing in the fourth match today, uh, Oriol Monzo, his compatriot, will be playing Martin Grunewald. So two very, very good Spanish players coming up this afternoon. Yeah, Mark's a really good player, actually. This is a very tough match, I think, for Gavin. He, he, he played here before in 2014 and reached the last 16 stage then as well. He's a really top player. Um, and this is going to be a tough match for, for Gavin. I was chatting with his coach earlier, and he feels the way to beat him is to get into lots of forehand-to-forehand -forehand type of rallies. Gavin knows that uh, you know, his backhand, although get improving, isn't quite as strong as his forehand, so he wants lots of forehand-to-forehand -forehand type points. Yeah, so you've just seen in the corner there, in the yellow, Gavin's coach, Stuart Lowe. Gavin from Perth, Scotland. Now living in London, Stratford. And, that, and that's how Gavin's going to get them, Colin, there. You see him switch wide to Mark's forehand early, and it's hard for Mark to go down the line then, so he's likely to go back to Gavin's forehand. Uh, again, Gavin... Ooh, Gavin looking for the forehand, the forehand, but that was pretty punishing from Mark Duran. Yeah, and I think on the other side, Mark will be trying to get at Gavin's backhand, of course. I'm fairly sure that will be what's in his plans. And he did that absolutely right there. So, tough match for Gavin. He decides to go back and defend. Chopping action. Oh, And this is the fourth or fifth one there. So if you're going to go back from the table, you're going to chop the ball. Backspin it if you can. You've got to be consistent to do that. So a few question marks here that Gavin's going to have to work with. That was a fantastic forehand for a, if you're trying to <laughs> if you're trying to play to Mark's forehand because it's his weakness, and then you see that gives you something to think about. Well, it's certainly a risky tactic, isn't it? I, I mean, I'm not sure it, that Gavin feels it's his weakness. He just feels that it's Gavin's main, it's his own strength. So he wants to be playing forehands, but Duran's got so much power, hasn't he? Yeah, that second backhand. You <laughs> see Gavin blowing his cheeks out with that one as it went past him. That's a great return of serve. Mark was happy to stand there and play backhand. Gavin played it in between the backhand and the forehand. Mark struggled then to get his own body out of the way to play a good action. So Gavin holding on, 4-8. Wow. Gavin's known for taking his double point ball early. And at 4-8 in the first, he's willing to, to uh, put this first game on the line using his double point ball. Can he take it? Good movement, but he couldn't take the points. 4-9 and the double point ball was used. Wasn't that a clever little forehand shot that uh, Duran played there? He got Gavin very wide and then took all the pass off it and switched to the backhand. It's so hard to Gavin to get across in time. Very delicate shot from Mark Duran. It shows that his decision making is really, really strong under pressure. That backhand is so strong. <laughs> Not quite sure how he's going to get himself out of this. Oh, I think Gavin's been surprised by how hard that uh, Duran is hitting that ball. He's really come out and given it everything. And that, that backhand is so hard and really consistent from Mark Duran. And then when it goes to the forehand, really, you can't exactly say there's any weakness there either. Very professional player. Well, he is a professional player. Very positive. That was a beautiful return of serve, right in the corner, just off the white line. Yeah, that's the way you can make Duran not put so much power on us to get it right on that baseline, but it's very difficult to do. Fantastic crowd here today. A lot of support for Gavin from a lot of the audience there. Yeah, crowd rising as he gets a point. Forehand surf from the forehand side, and that one reverse side spin and topspin. 
Great drop shot. Can he follow up? Mark's still in the rally. Well played, Gavin. He's going to be really pleased with the way his last couple of points has gone. What's happened is Gavin's gone a little bit harder, and we've seen Duran start to, start to defend with the backhand. When Gavin hits hard at, at Mark, Mark is quite defensive, actually. So that would have given Gavin a lot of encouragement. Yeah. Oh, that's lucky. Both players hitting the net. And just off the end, unlucky. That could have been 8-11, and Gavin's starting to crawl his way back. He's such a tough competitor, knows how to get himself out of trouble. But now 12-7 down. Short return, and then a big backhand from Gavin. Bigger backhands, though, from Mark. And Gavin getting his forehand in. Gavin showing what he's made of. Same serve again, but this time to the forehand. And he's just making the ball kick just a tiny little bit. You can see Mark wasn't in the position he thought he was in for that ball. Yeah, without doubt the best server in this event, Gavin. I think he's won three points in this game directly off serve. And that's kept him in it, really. Yeah, good spot, Tony. Fast to the backhand. Again, a net against him. He's doing everything he can to start getting himself back into this game to give Mark Duran something to worry about. And he was. But two difficult net cords against him doesn't help. Short return again. Getting the forehand in. 13, 10. Yeah, good, Gavin. Broke a lot of disguise on his forehand. Mark thought he was, he was going wide to his forehand, but he, at the last minute, turned, got it wide to the backhand, and it meant that Duran could only chop it back. First to 15. That's a wonderful backhand down the line. Gavin still there. Oh, yes. 11, 13. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, delighted. He will work for any point. He'll find his way back from any situation. Oh, back. Look. Right against the back barrier he was there, Colin. Nice boxes. <laughs> Serve into the middle that time. Mark with his powerful backhands, but you know what? Gavin's starting to get the big backhands back now. 11, 14. He's saying another net. Yeah, a bit unlucky, but terrific play, wasn't it, by both players? Yeah, I think what happens now is that whatever happens in this game, Mark Duran knows that he's in for a real, real fight. It's not going to be easy for Duran. Yeah, I think we could be seeing a typical uh, one-day comeback 12. if he does lose this, this first set. He does it time and time again. But I wouldn't put him past him coming back and winning this one yet, though. Yeah, 12-14. First to 15. So three game points to Mark. Oh, and there's Gavin ran around the backhand side. Mark plays it down the line. Gavin didn't get a sniff of that one. So a good finish from Mark Duran. Mark's mind that he wasn't going to lay down easily, got Second back to 12 points despite no. a few nets against him. So actually a fantastic recovery from, from Gavin, even though he was too far behind to win the game. Yeah, absolutely. The second half of that game was so important for Gavin. He really stepped up the pace himself, forced Mark back quite a lot, and really showed that this is not going to be easy for, for Mark for the rest of this match. I, I, personally, I have Gavin favourite. Wow. OK. Well, that was a great start from Gavin. First point was beautiful. Second point he did well. But Mark was good as well. Very, very hard forehand across court. So sticking with the forehand serve from the backhand side. Got a long warm up thinking about what he's going to do. And that was a brilliant serve. Very fast cross court. Ball came up, smashed wide yeah. at the forehand. What a great serve, wasn't it? He? he may have won the point with a forehand, but it was all set up with that serve. So fast, so deep. Well, well played. So a backhand serve there, but immediately it had Gar uh, Gavin on the defensive. So good to put in some variation. Yeah, I think he put it a lot, a bit longer than he meant to, Colin, and enabled Mark to get a big forehand in early in the rally. Two guys at the height of their physical powers, 32 Gavin is these days, and 30 years old for Mark. 
both playing table tennis professionally all around the world. And they love it when they pick up the blue bats. Very, very low friction surfaces. Difficult to get spin. Creates a different dimension to the game. It means you've got a very spin and placement and speed. Oh, and that just hit the edge of the table. How did he fit that down that line? That was an incredible shot, Colin. The place was to absolute perfection. Right on the white line. Ball kicked out slightly. No chance for Mark Durant. And that just goes to show the narrow, narrow margins that these players are having to play to. Play it a little bit, little bit inside, and Mark would have been there to crack a forehand. Well done, Gavin. Stuart Lowe, the coach, got his arms crossed, absolutely intent. And Stuart is saying, interestingly enough, that he f he finds that he has to do a lot of work oh, to save Gavin. Oh, what a great serve! Once again, that really fast, deep serve into the backhand. And if you see here how low this hits the net as he tries to get it over, it needed another two or three inches to get over the net there. Yep. So very fast and backspin. Oh, tried to keep it short. Too low. Gavin looking around for, to Stuart for a bit of comment or inspiration. They've been together since Gavin was 10, this team. Oh, good change of pace there from Gavin, wasn't it? He actually changed the serve as well, much bouncier one. The ball came up, Mark was expecting Gavin to hit it hard, and he just took all the pace off instead. Very clever play. Yep. Lovely slow ball. Again, the backhand from the middle. Fast to the backhand. He's doing that a lot. Oh, that's an amazing forehand. Under pressure, and then not high. Beautiful stroke. That's fantastic stroke production. Great technique. Gavin had no recovery time at all there, did he? He played that uh, forehand on the backhand side, and before he had a chance to even get to the middle of the table, it was, it was past him. A couple of foot to the right. Great stuff. So two serves now for Mark Duran. Short serve, short return. Again, the big backhand from Mark Duran when he gets the chance. Gavin's forehand just wasn't quite big enough, was it? No, and uh, yeah, he, he would like to be ahead at this stage, but these next few points are absolutely crucial now. Oh, Gavin running to get to the forehand. Hit it twice, but the third one was just too much. Gavin did well to get the first two back. So very confident and consistent hard backhand and forehands from Mark Durant. Really is a... A great athlete. Very powerful. Seven, eight. Great serve again there from Gavin. <laughs> Pleased with that one. Oh, good variation. This time bounce with a bit of top spin. Mark lifts it again. Just keeps it in the net and straight off the end. The serve has brought him back into this game. Yep. Gavin stuffed the ball into the table, made it bounce a little bit higher, which gives him a risk. But as a result, the ball's higher and Mark didn't keep it down. Eight all. Gavin's still in, in trouble here. Eight nine. In that there's a game down. And if Duran gets to 15 before him, he'll be out of the competition. Having said that, he's got a one point lead. Of course, the crowd go mad every time Gavin wins a point, so Graham will fill us up against two players at the moment. A couple of errors from Mark Duran. Is this where Rumgate asserts his authority and some superiority, mental as well as physical? Looks there like he could kill for this point. So focused, so intense. What a great competitor. So he's having to struggle. Comes in with the big forehand. And again, plays a shorter ball. Oh, a change of pace. 
Yeah, so much variation coming from Gavin at the moment. He changed the serve as well, went for a slow serve to the forehand, built a completely different point. Really clever stuff. It's a clear thinking from the Scotsman. 11-8 up. One more serve to come. Great line from that forehand. Not the biggest forehand in the world, but just wanted to get it long to the backhand. I'm sure that's what uh, Stuart Lowe's been telling him. Yeah, I think his tactics have really changed in this game. He's, he's given up the forehand to forehand thing and he's trying to get really deep into that backhand, isn't he? Yeah. Great backhand down the line from Mark Duran. Following it up with a big forehand. So, are we seeing a recovery now from Mark Duran as he resettles himself? that shot earlier, didn't we, Cody? That's the best backhand I've ever seen Gavin hit. Excellent shot. He's been practicing that all morning. Playing the show in. The Filipino coach. Great teamwork. And a great mixed community we've got here in this sport. It's wonderful. Oh, great backhand from Mark. That was a terrific shot, wasn't it? Totally took Gavin by surprise when he hit that back hard down the line. So they're enjoying it, young and old, in the audience. Two points away from squaring this at one game all. Eleven, More cautious 13. from Mark, but Gavin then overhitting. So still danger for the Scotsman. Oh. I wonder if Mark's thinking about the double point. Eleven, oh, I don't think he will be now. So with that going off the side, Gavin just needs one more to square the match at one game all. Good point from Stuart, he wants his first one. Good forehand from Gavin. Oh, and he just creeps over when he blows the drop shot. One game all and an apology from Gavin for hitting the net on the way over. Not undeserved. No, he's had a lot of success with that shot anyway, hasn't he? Where he fakes hitting it hard and just drops it over, but that time a little bit fortunate with it. Well, in typical style, Rumga. See who can keep it up the best. Love Two fantastic warriors of sandpaper ping pong. And Gavin serving first in the third game. One up. Once again, great serve deep to one corner and then hits the forehand hard straight deep into the other corner. Great start for Gavin. Yeah, well, we've been talking about how good Mark Duran's backhand is. Gavin's clearly really happy to serve long to the back end. Oh! And again, so I think they've picked out a difference. Mark is good in the rally, but not quite so good on the return of serve with that back end. Of course, there's two bounces on the table against the serve. So it comes up at him differently. Oh! 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 Gavin getting the back end back. Unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah, he was a bit unlucky. He, he he fought his way back into that rally so well. Mark played a great backhand on down the line. I thought Gavin was in trouble. He played a really clever shot, but then he got an opportunity and missed it, unfortunately. Yeah, occasionally I miss opportunities, but you've got to keep the error rate fairly low. Some rueful smile from Mark. He knows that Gavin was a bit lucky there. Twice, he says, he's been lucky this game. I think that's what he meant. <laughs> but yeah, two lucky ones for Gavin. Serving to the backhand. Oh! This time, Mark really got hold of the return of serve. The yeah. serve from Gavin wasn't quite as long. Yeah, if he falls slightly short, look how hard he hits that backhand. He's got to get that ball close to the baseline. in the corner, close to the baseline, and it got an e gave him an easy put away on the forehand next ball. You'd think that Gavin might have played a different kind of serve, but again, he got it right that time, got the real depth into the corner. Mark trying to play the forehand, left the, left the wide forehand open for Gavin to smash into. 
very, very impressive work from Gavin Rumgate. Gives him all of that, gives him a two point lead. 4 2. Okay. And now he's confident, he's bouncing, he's moving better, he's placing the ball really well. This is top stuff now from Gavin. He's hitting the ball harder sometimes, so now he's got a greater range of softer strokes and faster strokes. See the confidence there to smash again. And Gavin's game is really on song now. Duran having looked pretty dominant in the first game. Gavin was really struggling, did well to get back as far as 12 points. And Gavin turned this around. Now certainly has the edge in this game. Unlucky, plan worked, didn't it? Good, good serve, got a fairly weak return, but just missed the big four round. He'll, he'll, he'll be happy though that he got the opportunity. Yeah, that won't phase him. He'll keep playing the same way as that, believing he's going to get the vast majority of those on. Great serve short for the forehand, just too long. Knew he had to get it long into the backhand. Two, three centimetres over the end. Four-point lead would have been nice. Well, it was a good, good service return, actually, from Duran. He, he, he went down the line that time where he had been trying to play most of those backhands across court. Big forehands. Now they're back on the backhand diagonal. Oh, look at that wow. backhand down the line. That's the Duran's best shot of the, of the match. Bang. Fantastic. Oh, he's a really dangerous player, isn't he? I know this was a tough draw. question is, can Duran keep up that pace? Because if he can't... Rumgay will win the middling rallies. Six goal. One concern for Rumgay is that Duran still has his double point to use. Can't use it yet, of course, because it's Gavin's serve. It's a great serve, and Six, twice now seven, he's missed the forehand to the to Duran's forehand. Oh, what a show, that's about three times now. He's, he's put in such a good preparation shot, leading to that big chance on the forehand, and he's just missed it. Now that's not an unforced error, he's got to really stretch himself. Play the fast ones pretty hard. Oh, and then Duran getting his turn to get deep into Gavin's backhand. So, a really good turnaround. You can see that Duran's shifted mentally. Forced to defend, and then look again Nine. at that Six. backhand down the line. And he wants the crowd with him as well. 9-6 in the third game, first of 15 points, takes this match and a place into the quarterfinals. Nice control, both players. So they're now both players able to play Tony with such fine touch and delicacy, even under pressure and when they're thinking about going for the smash as well. Yeah, absolutely. Gavin, uh, earlier on, was flicking all those returns deep into the backhand, but now he's just occasionally throwing in a drop shot like that just to give some more variety. So some very good subtle play from both players as well. Big one from Gavin across court. He's got Mark stuck on the backhand side. Slow ball. Slow ball hoping for the one he can smash. Pretty much there. Oh, 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 great effort. Well played though, Gavin. Terrific point, that. I, was, I, I thought that Gavin had won that a couple of shots previous, but Mark hung in. But eventually Gavin got there. Mark Duran sticking, sticking in there through that rally. Gavin having to play a lot of good shots to actually win that point once he got Mark Duran away. So they're certainly not making it easy for each other. Fantastic play. Ten, Do you know what? That's a huge point for Duran now because he's still got that double point ball to come and that will put immense pressure on Gavin. He's happy with that. He's looking confident again, isn't he? 
So after a little patch where Duran was looking like he was struggling, he now looks like a man who believes he's, he can win. Great short return, but Duran's touch is good as well. Oh, yeah, we'll Got that point so deep ball. into the corner. In Here is that double point run. ball. So Duran looking for two points from this serve, using the double point ball. You only get one of these against each opponent. Gavin's used his in the first game, as he often does. Gavin wasn't able to convert his double point ball. And Gavin's attacking. Nine, Again, 12. the back end of Duran down the line is, is a theme of this third game. And that means now that we've got a 12-9 lead for the Spaniards. Yeah, that will have really hurt Gavin, that, Colin. That's such a big point. But now we're going to see Gavin and hopefully use all his fighting qualities to battle his way back in this. He knows he's not out of it. He'll fight right to the end. Ten, and there we go, just gambling a bit more, wasn't he there? Pounced onto that, went round the corner really early, pounced onto that forehand, hit it hard down the line. Yeah, wasn't so wide, but the power was there. 10-12. Fast serve to the backhand again, and now he's going for that forehand to forehand diagonal we were talking about in the first game. 13, but 10. look at Duran come in and hit the ball hard. Yeah, he read that slower shot this time, didn't he? Again, Gavin faked the smash and dropped it, but Mark was ready on that occasion. So you've got to say that's, that's well played by him. They've both raised their games, and now it's a different game to what they were playing in the first game. They've both moved on a couple of levels each. Well, well, 13-11. So, Gavin needs four points. Duran only needs two to go through. Oh, unlucky. Went for the flick down the line. Yeah, unlucky. Just went for a, a little bit more depth and power. And the ball was just too low. Caught the top of the net and flew off. Match point, Mark Duran. Couldn't well, convert it at that time. He went for the backhand, but not with the same commitment as previously. Wonder if he's a bit nervous there. Yeah, Gavin will certainly be hoping that, that Mark show starts to tighten. And maybe make a couple of errors here. Gavin needs the next three points to take the match, otherwise he's out. 15, he's 12, Gavin Gavin Man Man Duran. Duran. Mark Duran goes Queen through to the quarterfinals. He'll be playing Chris Doran of England. Wonderful victory for Mark Duran. And we'll be back after the break with Maxime Schmirich.